What is up YouTube? Your boy is back. Well, kind of. I have been off, not on the scene for a few months. I've had a lot of people message me where I've been and that. All will be explained later in this video. I've been uh, fingering a few pies, if you get what I mean. If you get what I mean. Anyway, today I'm gonna be taking you guys down to my, well, it's not a house yet. It's actually a little bit of land that I've bought. And I'm gonna take you down there, show you what the plan is with it, show you what I'm doing with it. And uh, yeah, all will be revealed later on in the video. I hope you guys have been well. I hope you've been keeping well. Do you know what? I've actually been enjoying my couple of months of YouTube. When you start to take your camera everywhere in life, your whole life turns into a movie. And sometimes it's just nice to enjoy life, the slow pace of life off of the scene. So yeah, that's where I've been. Before we start the video, you can probably tell, or you can obviously tell, I've got the Mercedes still in the background. I decided not to sell it. I know there was a bit of speculation about whether I was gonna sell the Merc or not. Well, I've decided to keep it. Just before we leave, I received this product this morning from theftblock.com and they have sponsored today's video kindly. Theftblock.com provide a safe place for you to store your keys at home. What they provide is a small box like this, which quality is unreal, it's all Alcantara. And this box is lined with some special material which basically stops people from hacking into your car key and stealing your car from your driveway. In the UK at the moment, there is over 50,000 cars a year stolen, and most of them are done electronically through the remotes in the key. And stuff like AMG Mercs, Range Rovers are terrible for it, and other cars which have remote key locking systems can be put in this box, and this will prevent anybody from stealing it. So for 65 pound, I think that is a great way to stop your car from being stolen. And if you want to use my discount code, Henry10, link will be in the description. You can go and grab yourself one. It comes in a range of colors. Um, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna be keeping all of my keys in this box from now on. So let's jump in the car. Let's get on the way down to the coast. I need a coffee. I need some caffeine. I've done CrossFit this morning. My legs are absolutely killing. And yes, guys, let's get back into the video. Yeah, so I completed on the property a couple of weeks ago and the tenants are still in there. So I'm having to do all of that process, getting them out. I'm resubmitting for some new planning applications, which I'll explain when I'm down there. So it's been a little bit of a complicated process. I never realized how hard it is to actually buy a house. I thought you just turned up with the money and uh, it was easy like that, but oh my God, it is so difficult. So let's jump in the whip and get down to the coast because it's actually in Kent, the property. Here we are, guys. This is my first ever property that I've bought. It is currently three garages on a small bit of land. Oh, nearly fell over there. <laughs> it's already got planning to build a one bedroom bungalow on it, right? And the plan at the moment is to go below that double level and build basically a subterranean property with a basement and a courtyard downstairs. But when we've been researching it, we've run into a few problems. And obviously there's this drain here, which is the main drain for the houses that run behind. And that drain runs through my property. So if I was to dig below this right now, I would be entering into that drain. So I would have to redirect the drain and put it back into road, which would cost me big bucks. And I do not really want to do that. So I have met today the architect, which who was just talking here with before I'm filming this video, and we are coming up with a new plan to basically turn this bit of garage in here using the existing brickwork and foundations, and then coming off down here for an extension like so. And we're also gonna try and get a mezzanine floor above that garage right there. So we've got like a, a two-story building. That will have two bedrooms, a nice open plan kitchen, lounge, diner along the bottom. It's gonna have off-street parking with private gates coming along. And you'll have a small little courtyard with a garden. So it pretty much packs a garden, an off-street parking, two beds, open plan living, lots of light, all into this one small parcel which is this bit of land here. So I'm super excited to get going with the build, but obviously I need to make sure I get the next stage of planning for it. But because there's already planning for a house on it, I feel like there's always gonna, we're gonna be able to do something with it, whether that's just basically turning that into a studio bungalow and having it as a little one bedroom apartment. I don't know, or we'll get the extension. Who knows, who knows? Depends what mood the planning and permission council are in because if they're in a good mood, they'll grant anything. But if they're in a bad mood, then it's gonna be a tough road to get planning. But like, you look at the road that it's on, I'm not gonna show you, because I don't really wanna reveal the location on YouTube just because of privacy issues and stuff like that. But there's houses from every single era on this road. There's no like 
continuity with the planning. So I feel like I will be able to get something on this road. And I'm going to keep it nice. I'm going to match it in with the two houses behind, keep the nice bricks and that. So at least it fits in with the area. It's going to be a great addition to the road. And Mr. HA is finally on the property ladder. <laughs> hey. But yes, at the moment, I'm still letting the garages out for a little while until I get the plan and I start building. Building is probably going to start in the next four months at some point, providing how quick planning goes through because it can take as long as you want. But yeah, this is what the majority of my focus has been on for the last couple of months, getting this through. So went out with the solicitor and just making sure I've not not missed anything when buying it because the drains were something that I did slightly overlook before I bought it. but. We got there in the end so yeah this, this is what i've been doing and i've been pretty busy on this and I've, I've enjoyed it to be fair it's been fun so yeah big things coming and if you do want to buy a property off me not a car this time let me know just drop me a message on instagram you can buy it if you want <laughs> but just as we got here i literally shot my finger in the door of my car and have nearly decapitated my finger it was shut like that and i genuinely thought i'd lost the end of my finger it had squashed it down to the bone hospital it's my next stop but yeah so this is my first property venture make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button follow along if you like to see this series i will be doing some more content in the scrapyard soon my schedule of uploading is going to be very loose i'm going to upload only on sundays and that'll be once a week maybe once every two weeks just dependent on whether i've got a video filmed what i'm doing and how busy i am as this is a passion this is not a job and yeah so hopefully i'll see you guys soon yeah Goodbye, YouTube.